Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? It's going. I'm here. Isn't it? It appears to be going. Yes. Uh, I, I've switched my... I no longer play for the Yankees. I play for the Mariners now. Oh. I'm moving out to Seattle. Oh. I'm not going to Seattle. I hear it's a very depressing place. It, yeah, it like rains all the it time. It rains all the time. I'm actually it, going in October. You're going in October to Seattle? Yeah. Well, we're not staying in Seattle, but we're like doing hikes and stuff oh yeah but okay. I, I i mean seattle doesn't really i heard it just rains and i hear it rains and people over there kill themselves a lot it's not a joke like i don't mean apparently seattle has like a high rate of <laughs> we just started the episode dude. i know i'm sorry it's 7 a.m for some people it is 7 a.m for some people <laughs> most people probably yeah uh no apparently they have a high a high, high suicide suey, rate a suey rate. and i remember hearing about that from a really reputable source i watched a documentary on kurt cobain because he was from you know nirvana the we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna jump off of the topic of <laughs> just real fast you don't want to jump you don't want to talk about kurt cobain blowing his brains out <laughs> I allegedly, don't, I don't. allegedly. What was her name? Courtney Cox? Not Courtney Cox. No, Jesus. not her. <laughs> Fucking. What's her name from Co Friends? Courtney Love. No, Courtney that's Lo Courtney Cox. Yes, uh, Courtney Love. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Growing up with the last name Cox got to be rough, dude. Cox, gay, gay. Yeah. Okay. What other last names? Uh, or I mean, people Probably named Dick's. Richard. Yeah, Dick. Why that's did they, bullshit, why did though. we get Dick from Richard? I don't know. That's bullshit. I, don't I think that was that. someone that like met a Richard and they were like, "You're a fucking Dick." Yeah. And they just like let it fit. But for everyone out there, don't worry. We're not going to talk about penises this entire episode. We're going to talk about vaginas. We are. We have a big vagina this episode. This is a big... Listen, we have to honor the, the, the sponge of the earth. Yeah. And we have Frankie's to... been calling vaginas sponges, and I can't... <laughs> he actually said before we started, he's like, why don't we call... Why... why wait, what did you say? He said, why aren't we calling why them sponges? Why aren't we calling them sponges? And I'm like, why... What is the... What is it? I just... I think that... What are they soaking up? I think that they're not necessarily soaking. I just... Like, we often talk and we don't always say vagina. We say, like, bones. Yeah, we make so noises. I said bones and I heard sponge. Sponge, yes. And then I thought more about it and I was like, all right, well, let's, let's be practical here. Mm -hmm. A sponge is an absorbent material. Porous. Porous. Mostly... Can be rough on top. It can. We have that little... <laughs> When they have the little scratchy bristly pad on top. You need, oh, well, of course they, well, they you all need have a, them. You, for friction, you need to rub and clean. Yeah. Uh, and then. They get really wet. They do. If you, if you mash them. If you, well, hold on. I'm not, <laughs> I didn't go that way yet. Yeah, I'm just saying. But no, they do. They retain moisture. Yeah. You know, and uh, I just, you know, in theory, like you can call a dick. And they clean, they clean, they clean the, they themselves, do. kind of. They do. It's like a self-cleaning thing. Thing, I think. Yeah. But sponges aren't self-cleaning. You have to add something. Well, well, you get, when you get soap, and it's like it kind of, it never, cause do they get dirty? I think they do. I don't know. I do know that, like, with vaginas, because, you know, let us tell you guys, too. Yeah. Straight men. Uh, uh, cisgendered, by the way. Uh, tell you about vaginas. Um... I think they do get dirty. Vaginas, is, no, yeah, they do. The outside, the outside. No, well, well no, the inside, yeah, they it's can like, it's get like some a, yeast and going, yeah. Yeah, you know, like it's, it's, it's not necessary. It's like a fence. You got your outside fence and then you're in, you, you got your yard. Of course. And then you can go in the house. Right, yeah. Every now and then, you need to clean up the yard. And also, there's a lot of stuff that gets on the fence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The fence dogs gets, pee on it. People well, put like on. posters on it. Dogs do pee on fences. Yeah. Not on a, a lady fence. I'm sure that I, there's a dog that's pissed on a vagina before. I'm, like, I'm sure that's happened. I'm sure it has happened in the history of existence. Yeah, like in like Ohio or something. Why Why is that where you're going? It just feels like a place where dogs are peeing on a vagina. I'm saying Florida. That's also a good that's one. That's probably a better one, honestly. I was thinking more. Pro Florida's more bloody than pee, uh. pissy, yeah. No, what Florida's, are we doing? Well, I, don't, I don't know. It's good. Don't let's let's not stop. No, it. we're gonna. Yeah. Let's not stop. You know what? Give me a little bump. Give me a little bump. A little bump right you got over there. Oh, okay. Give me a little bump. You right love this stuff, guys. Speed. Go to uh, secrethandshake.shop or go to theheatness.com to get uh, a bottle of the Everything Bagel hot sauce. We are very close to selling out, if not already sold out by the time this goes out. Yeah, uh, I also haven't eaten, so this is my breakfast and my lunch at this point in time. So perfect. Hey, man, you know life is rough. But yes, lady sponges. Uh, this is a big ah. This is a big episode. Yeah. 
about lady sponges. Well, first, we have to start this episode um, by talking about the most popular way to attract a man, I guess. Having a, a sponge. No, not having a <laughs> vagina. But it's this new uh, thing called vabbing that... Um, well, hold on. What's vabbing? It's, it's like when you smear your fluids from your purse all over your ears and neck what? to attract <laughs> men like we're fucking animals. Well, we are, first of all. Second... Well, so hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I've never walked into a room. Why are they calling like, this vap? Oh, because it's like a little, a little dab of cologne. Of a V of a vagina. Little, a little. So with the vagina dab. Yeah. Um, I I thought instantly for some reason when people dab like with yeah, like yeah, weed yeah wax right you know where they're like yo put this melting wax yeah smoking smoke and, smoke and vagina stuff go smoke fucking earwax uh, but so women will. They'll dig into their purse, t- <laughs> and then they'll they'll create some fluid, and then take it out and create. Put it, well, you have to. They can't just. I mean, I sometimes. Think, I think yeah, they the, can get some. You you keep the lawn for the most part yeah. moist. You well, know, it's a well watered. I'm just saying. I'm the just irrigation saying. system is built into the woman, Joe. Okay, so Jack and Jill go down to the well, mm-hmm. and they fetch a pail of water. First of all, they go up a hill. That's true. <laughs> and then they they put it behind their ears, and it's supposed to attract men. But I've never honestly walked into a room and be like, it smells like pussy in here. I'm horny. You well, know what I mean? Uh, hold on. Wait a sec. You've smelled a vagina in a room? I've never smelled a vagina in a room. I've had to been like looking down the barrel of all it. Right, see, this and then is I'm like, a, now I can get tough, something. This is really tough because I want to navigate this with grace and great aplomb. Frankie, However, it's a little difficult. We're past grace, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like... You know when like you smell like your mom's cooking and you're like, yo, that's my mom's cooking. That's where I first got it. Careful. I'm not. I'm not talking about your mom's vagina smell. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not yet. We'll get to that. <sighs> but like you smell your mom's cooking and you're like, that's. I that's love a, that. That's a that's a that's a fresh. It takes pasta, me back. I'm a child. I'm a child. Sauce. Exactly. And then you'll be out, and then you'll smell a similar smell and be like, that that's my mom's sauce. Right. I smell that. That has happened. Like I've never been like, you know, like with with cooking or were we talking about? Oh, yes, with cooking. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But with bunjainans. Yeah. You know. So like I've been out and been like, that's uh. You th- you said it smells it's, it smells like pussy in here. It smells like no 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 but I won't say it smells like pussy like I won't like, I won't look in the room and be like whose vagina was out. Yeah. You know like yeah. who's got the who's got the you so, know so there's a there's a naked woman standing in front of a fan. Yeah. Why who's got the mothballs out? You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's not. Uh, but I've smelled things and been like that's eerily similar to the smell of a vagina. In okay. some cases, not all okay, vaginas okay. smell the same. You know, right. frogs and toads. Yeah. Um. Don't you fucking dare with this. <laughs> but it's like, it's like you know what it reminds me of? Remember those fucking shit berries that we would smell? The cum berries. Oh, yeah. The, the, they smell like jizz. They smell like jizz. It's not jizz. You're not walking around going, who jizzed on the sidewalk? Although New York City c- can't be everywhere. I am thinking that, though. Whenever I smell those berries, I'm like, that smells exactly like ejaculate. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. But your first mind, like your mind doesn't first go to someone has come in the street. It goes to, oh, where are, the, where are the berries? Well, my first interaction with those berries, I was like, there's come all over this place. <laughs> and, but then I was like, oh, okay, it's got to be these berries. And now I can associate that if I'm outdoors. But like I said, I've never walked into a room and been like, yo, there's fucking vagina like in abundance in here. Have you ever walked into a room and been like, did someone recently just like bash their bump and uglies together? Oh, like, it, oh, like you definitely sex. smell sex. There's a sex smell. Because it's like a thick air. It's a thick air. There's a moisture and a humidity to it. Yeah. And there's a funk. There's a musk. It's like if you were to leave, like, gorgonzola cheese out overnight in the heat. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's not sick. So they're taking it. Just yeah. kind of getting the, getting the says, waterworks going. Uh, there was a TikToker named Mandy Lee who... Free plug. There you go. Yeah. She, she Apparently, she's the one who started this. Uh, involves smearing. I don't like the the term smearing fluid. By the way, absolutely disgusting. Smearing fluid behind the ears and neck. Smearing discharge. Joey would rather them say. Um, no, that's even worse. Jesus discharge. <laughs> um, proponents claim it increases the chance of attracting men by spreading their pheromones, chemicals made by the body to attract 
mates in some animals. I don't think that we're those types of animals, to be honest. Uh I like a nice smelling woman, but I don't need to smell your vagina. I think the idea here is that they're trying to tap into like our like primitive nature, which, hey, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, slippery slow. Very slippery. Uh, through history, men not known to be the most um, uh, accepting of the answer no. Also, like, have you seen the Discovery Channel? Like, yes. This have is you, what you, have you seen the Discovery Channel when you're rubbing your vagina on your ear? Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> like, Jesus, this is kind of wild. I here. don't. This is the thing. If I didn't know, like, I'd be like, what's that? Because again, it's you. The, the the I assume the odor is unique to the individual. Yeah, but is it? it but is it like a pleasing odor? You know well, what I'm the saying? Thing is that I would if I didn't know it was there and I smelled it, I'd be like, "What the? F- is, but, does, is someone eating raw chicken?" Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> like, what is what is that? Someone eating raw chicken. Again, the smell is different for every situation. I'm oh, just... Right, but yo, let's be honest here. Let's just say it how it is. There's no vaginas in the world that probably, like, we've now been conditioned that, like, you go to, you hug a woman and you get right there, right? You get the And neck. you're expecting, like, a perfume smell, like a fruit and, like, a, you know, something. A Japanese cherry blossom Victoria's There's Secret. Not, vaginas don't smell like that. Well, I think that's that's not necessarily true and or fair. But because not, there but are not, some, bro. there are some people that take great pride. Of course. As men do as well. Now, yes, men but, are like, bro, like, my balls need to smell good. When? What? But that's the thing. I'm what, about, what are we doing? I'm just saying the natural smell i'm not saying like obviously people take care of themselves and there's there's wipes there's sprays there's all Deodorant. kinds of stuff yeah all kind but i'm saying a natural smell like it's not going to smell like a perfume you know what i'm saying which is what you're expecting so you go in you hug a woman and you got all types of stuff in back there yeah you're going to be like what like you'd be confused like what am i smelling i would be a little confused i think I if I didn't know what it was, I'd be like, "What's going on?" But I'm I'm thinking back to like, because I always often you know think back to my time as a teenager. Of course, bro. If I was a teenager and a girl hugged me and was like, "By the way, I just rubbed my vagina on my ear," I'd be the horniest person on the planet. Yeah, if you tell me that, I'm I'm in. Reference that you have female parts. It was over. It was well not over. Also have female. <laughs> Not over. <laughs> if you just had, it was just gonna get parts. started. Right, exactly. You no. know, I saw a bra strap when I was younger, and I was like, I'm fucking All so now, wet. If you would saw a bra strap and the girl was like, "Why are you looking at my nipples?" You were way hornier. Wait, what? If like they acknowledged that behind the strap, oh yeah, or the strap was used to contain yeah nipple bags. Yeah. You would have been like way hornier. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so you confirm that you have. Yeah. Nipples. Yeah. And I'm like, hell yeah. Even though I, I know you got them. Yes. But if you talk about them, I'm like, yo. Yes. She's but also, them. weird double standard. Don't talk about it too much. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that there was a weird double standard back then where, like, if a girl were to, like, get kicked in the vagina and they'd be like, ah, my pussy, we'd be like, yo, chill. Like, bro, chill out, dude. That was an oddly specific example. I feel like something I think, happened to you. I think I have heard that. And again, it's a double standard that's. I don't believe in now. A woman's gotten kicked right in the pussy, you're saying? Dude, I once saw a girl, like, you know how, like, in wrestling, they'd fall off the ladder and, like, they'd, like, land on the rope? And yeah, do, like, yeah. The, you yeah, know, yeah. like, I saw a girl once hit her vagina mm-hmm. in a way, pelvic area, I should say. I shouldn't assume it was the whole of the vagina. You mean pubic area? Yeah. Not pelvic, that would be the hip. Pel- pel- pubic, yes, that's what I mean. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, and it was, like, like, it sounded like bone on fucking bone. Wait, what did she hit? A and pole? she was like, I think it was something similar to a pole. And she was like, ow, my pussy. And I was like, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, it sounded like bro, it sounded a pussy bone? Honestly, close your eyes. This is what it, I'm not even kidding. This is what it sounded like. That's a hard pussy bone. Bro, think about it, bro. There's not a lot of padding down there. No, it's For women, not. I feel bad for them. But like, I mean, I think they're all right. I feel yeah, bad they're cool. for us. Get kicked in the balls. It's a, it's over. I don't know, dude. I I obviously we no, can't. It hurts way more to get kicked in the balls than the. How person. do you know, Joe? Tell me about the time you were kick, kicked in your because vagina. balls are sensitive and you could beat the hell out of a vagina, dude. Well, you could you could 
do good stuff to the inside of a vagina. I assume no, the outside. You can hit the you can hit the outside. Yeah, when you're doing skin on skin, Joe. <laughs> Boy, what a what a day already this has become. But when you're hitting the outside yeah. with like a blunt object. <laughs> you know? With a with a dull bat. Like if you if you were to Yeah. If you were to like land spread legged on a on a railing. Yeah. With a vagina and with balls. Balls takes the cake. Really? Yeah, dude. Well, Come I on. feel like balls, you have a chance to get out of the way. Yeah, but then you would get like soft gooch tissue. Soft gooch tissue would suck. Uh, that is they have like bone structure down there, don't they? Yeah, that's the part that I'm saying would hurt, bro. Imagine like hitting, you know, like your elbow on something. Like that's what it's like hitting, but like straight for their pubic area. I mean, I... I I think I would rather hit like land right on my back. Let us talk to you guys about how this feels. Again, <laughs> two men. No, I mean, come on, man. Not a single. Give us the balls. N- not a single natural vagina in this room. Remember when it was like, yo, if you punch a girl in the tits, she'll get breast cancer or whatever the fuck. I don't remember that. It was like, yo, don't punch girls in tits. Because... Well, yeah, probably don't do that anyways. Well, I was. I, I, you know. I don't know if it will directly lead to breast cancer. Probably not good though. I was, you know, I was taking it how I could get. It. If I could punch this thing, I'll do it. But like, bro, I was growing trying. up. Dude, getting an elbow and a boob is fucking fire. Like, accidentally? Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Bro, growing up, we, like, would, like, go off on each other's fucking beanbag. Like, on each other's balls. Me and you punch each other's in the I'm top. not saying necessarily me and you, but, like, our friend group. Sack taps were, you know, a normal thing. Yeah, yeah, I had swollen balls for a whole summer because of that. What? Yeah. You had swollen balls. Not like consistently, but people would hit my balls. And then like it felt like they were swollen. Well, it hurts, yeah. And it gets yeah. right in the stomach. Right. Yeah, no. And that was another thing too. Because back then I had I had like a some IBS or whatever the fuck yeah, going on. Yeah, back then. Some gastro uh-huh. stuff. Not now. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. I, honestly, I'm so much better with it now. Yeah? But eat a gyro. Dude, I ate mad gyros in Greece. Yeah? And you told me you pissed out of your ass. When I got home. But I didn't oh, have the flu. You kept it. Okay. <laughs> you kept it a good over But uh, for whatever reason, when I was younger, if someone hit me in the balls or like during sports, I get hit in the balls, I have to shit within five minutes. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, my body was like, oh my God, what is this, poop? And I'm like, no. no. I just, we got hit. And he's like, no, it's poop. And I'm like, no. And he's like, yes. I'm like, oh. See, mine feels like a stomach ache and like it goes up into my stomach and it feels like I haven't eaten in like weeks. That's but I get the same kind of feeling, but then I think it just like pulls poop down with it. That's weird. <laughs> Honestly, I, I you have to get a colonoscopy done because you have talked enough about like you being like yeah coffee pee out of my butt. No, that doesn't happen. I've never said that because that's oh, actually sorry. something that's never sorry. happened to me. Protein, protein blows me up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I don't I don't I don't have diarrhea. I just take. Big dumb. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying what the. I'm not asking the consistency or you know like. Do you want to know more detail? No. Okay. Uh, but okay, listen. I'm not going to give people advice. I'm not sure if this vabbing thing is smart. Yeah, I don't know that I want to like or sanitary. Well, that's the thing. I actually pulled up this article and it says that uh, doctors warn dangerous things can happen if you vab. Uh, well, I assume the transmission of, you know, venereal diseases or STDs or something like that. Well, not STD. I mean, they're not using a dick to rub the fluid back there. They're just, like, Yeah, but if they hands. have one. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> no. The, the, the reason is, like, you can just cause more infections. I mean, if you're digging into your purse without yes. washing your hands or, like, you know what I'm saying? You're you walking wanna... the streets of New York, and you're like, oh, my God, I got a date. And you just start fucking, you know, just just start, you know, yeah, no, yeah, going yeah, exactly, down. Yeah. First of all, people will ask questions. Yeah. Also, like, they said that uh, a bacteria on women's fingers can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease. Um, you know, they, this could lead to scarring in the fallopian tubes. So you're just trying to attract a man, but you're actually destroying your tubes. Let me ask you. The girl that started doing this, have you seen what she looks like? Is there a picture of her? No. Look her up. I would be interested to know if this is a relatively good-looking person. Why? Like, what kind of experiment that they ran to prove that this works or does not work. (sighs) Hold on. There's a TikTok here that has rules 
of how to vag. All right, let's hear it. First one. Wash your hands. It's a good rule. Wash your hands. Shower or bathe beforehand. Smart. Very smart. Which, I mean, okay. I feel like you... Oh, and then wash hands before and after. Yes. That's the next rule. Also smart, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Then the next rule is, if you go to the gym, wipe down gym equipment before and after use. Yeah, this is just general hygiene. And yeah, I'm, what are we talking I'm about? I'm all on now? board with this. <laughs> like, as of right now, I'm following this. I have vabbed, I guess. Yeah, like if you go to the gym, wipe down. Oh, they mean like if you're if you did it, maybe do that. But also, you have to do that. But at you the also gym washed anyway. your hands. I'm yeah. I don't know. This doesn't make um, sense. Next one. Do not let the areas you vabbed touch other surfaces and people. Well, that's tough. Because if you're vabbing behind your ears and you're going in for a hi, you're... I mean, you're not really kissing necks. Bro, close enough, dude. Yeah, I mean, you're getting close. Close enough if your ears touch. I mean, I've never gotten behind someone's ear, I don't think. I don't either, but like my my mouth has gotten close to the ear. I've Yeah. Because you think about it, when you go see people, you're like, oh, multisante. What was that? <laughs> multisante? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And like, I've, I've given some pretty aggressive cheek kisses. It's like you have if you to, aim towards the do you aim towards the cheek or you I just go straight. It really depends. I go like this. Like I I do the hey I'm on my school, you know, yeah. and but there have been times where I've I've grabbed face and wow because whoa dude yeah, I've been drunk most of the time with men. Man, yeah, it feels so. like you would do that to a man. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Anyway, next next one. <laughs> uh, if you are on your if if you're on your period, just wait. That feels like it goes without saying. Yes, that, as of right now, we are. I am honestly on board. Listen, we're just trying to vab. No one's putting on war paint. Yeah, when yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing when you when you are on your period doing it, then it's becoming like a like you're going out hunting. Yeah, I you feel know? yeah. It's like you know you need some like tribal music in the background, like ding dum dum bum da da. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that felt racist. No, um, <laughs> if you. Have- <laughs> If you have an STD or any spreadable diseases, do not vab. Okay. Honestly, I'm on board with these. So rules. far, the vabbing yeah. seems legit. Any unusual smell or bad odor, do not vab and go see a doctor. Well, how would you know that if you didn't? Well, if it smells like shit, or if it smells like. Remember when you're younger, it's like, yo, her shit smell like fish. Yeah, pescado. Ew, it shit smell like fish. Yeah, there were kids. And I'm like, I. I've never ran into a fishy vagina in my life. Yeah, I don't think I have either, thank God. I have ne- I'll even say this. I have never ran into a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I've never come across a vagina where I was like, where I thought there was something bad going on. Okay. Like like the smell, the feel, the not, like everything was like, I've never had a bad experience with a vagina. It's always been like, Cool. A one. Yeah. Great A. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, that was just like a Well, it's vagina. because it's sick. it's because you've been for the last however years in your life since you've been sexually active, you go to like, you know, like private dinners and like apartments and like Michelin star restaurants. Well, that's not true, Frank. You know? I'm not <laughs> I would say, you know, if you're if you're if you're eating foie gras, you're probably gonna be looking at it too. <laughs> <laughs> like duck liver, I think. Um you know what? It's funny you say foie gras because when I was on my flight back home from Paris, they served that, and it was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it it wasn't like regular. It wasn't good. It it was like it looked like they m- made a soap out of it. Like it was like a little. I was like, I'm I've good. never had it. I would be interested in trying it. I tell you, when I wouldn't, I've had it plane. in the center of a meatball. I wouldn't do that on a plane. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It wasn't great. Um. And then the last one here, uh, you do not need a lot of cat. Oh, yo, I'm a fucking idiot. You are confirmed. They did emojis, and they meant to say pussy juice, and I thought cat water. You don't need. Well, you don't need cat water. You don't need any cat water, <laughs> um, but you do not need a lot of pussy juice for a successful vab. Okay. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, I think that is because it's it's not and about me i'm like i get too excited so i'd be i i would i would be thinking like i gotta get this shit crazy well you know it's been the last couple of years the vagina has been making a triumphant return obviously this <laughs> uh, the, uh like uh, in your life or like in, in like i think the in earth? the in the you know the stratosphere of pop culture okay we have this uh clearly making its way right uh we had the uh the goop 
uh, uh, oh, candle. The, the candle, yes. The candle smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina, apparently. Uh-huh. Uh, Pepper, Pepper Potts' vagina is in a candle, you know? <laughs> Correct. Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, so, like, it seems like people are, like, really starting to, like, really put the vagina at the forefront of, you know, popular... Th- if this becomes a perfume, then we have to buy it. A uh, vagina? Yeah. Because, listen... We tried buying the Goop candle. It's literally been out of stock forever. Well, I don't want to buy it now. It's fucking dangerous. It's been dangerous. It's been blowing up. But listen, we'll take one for the team. I'm not going to die by a candle. Why not? That's a horrible way to go. Bro, if you die by vagina candle, it's kind of fire. I'd rather get eaten by a whale. Well, yes, I would rather get eaten by a whale too. I'd rather also die in like a, a hot air balloon crash. Yeah. Are you sure about that? I'm you'd not. rather be you'd rather the world know that you died in a giant balloon and wicker basket falling to the ground with a sick view though. <laughs> like sick view. Yeah, I'm sure you were in a colorful ass giant balloon and a wicker basket and you fell to your death. I'd be so scared in that thing. I wouldn't go up. <sighs> I like I I want to, but I'm so scared. How to I oh, never mind, I'm not going to do that. Um I would I would if it was going down, I would grab the like I'd grab the balloon and like parachute my way down. First with animals, you're <laughs> delusional. Now with this, it's like I'm, I'm saying. What it. next? You're gonna grab lightning and throw it back into the sky? No, Joe, relax. I'm not saying it would be easy. Oh, Josh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm not saying it would be easy. I'm not saying it'd be easy, but like if I were up there, I'd be like, all right, cut the basket. Everyone, hold on to, you know, the balloon. And the balloon will bring us down slowly, right? Well, if it folds, that's why it's coming down, babe. Like, obviously, if the balloon is just ballooned, well, just you're chilling. Well, bl- just bl- open the balloon back up. You ever see the size of one of these balloons? Uh, not in person. Okay. Uh, but I've seen them in very uh, many movies and TV shows. Pretty big. Pretty yeah. big. I, always, I never understood how, like, people can't use blankets as, like, uh, you know, parachutes. So you saw Aladdin. And, uh, and that's what you're basing that off of. <laughs> that's it, huh? I'm just saying, like, if I were to just grab like a like a king size comforter, and like just hold it at the ends, right. could I jump off and like be okay? Find out. <laughs> <laughs> jump off your roof, see what happens. Well, my roof is not that big. I wouldn't be able to get a bigger roof. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, why? That's about I... as easy as what why? you're describing, <laughs> though. You idiot. no, it's easier to jump off one than to get a bigger one. Oh no, you can get a bigger roof. Mm. No, <laughs> uh, but uh, since we're talking about vaginas, there's actually another TikTok trend uh, that I found yeah. that I wanted to bring up to you. Again, big week, big time for vaginas. It's a big vagina episode. Which, hey man, you're not going to get an argument out of me. Hell no. Um, so I saw that there is a new TikTok trend, Joey. I feel like I'm going to hate this. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you like Hot Pockets? I, Yeah, I do. I do too, dude. But not the fucking bacon, egg, and cheese one. I'm not a fucking white trash piece of shit. You are, but honestly, the bacon, egg, and cheese one isn't that bad. Ugh. But the only good Hot Pocket is the pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. I have a relationship with Hot Pockets where I have them, my stomach hurts really bad, <laughs> and then I won't have them for another like 10 months just to forget that my stomach hurts. Yeah. And then I have them again. I like that. You know? I haven't... I usually... My relationship is different with them. I usually... I like them, but it gets hard to like them because I burn my mouth and hands. Yeah. Because I try to open it and then cheese gets on me and I go, no! And then I eat it too fast and it burns my mouth. Well, it, it, eating a Hot Pocket is basically just... You're like You take a... Yeah, you, you have know, to like... like you have to eat it while breathing in reverse. Yeah. Like, it's like really hard to eat a Hot and Pocket. And you have to chew with... Like your cheeks and lips not making contact with the rest of your mouth, so it's like, literally, yeah. And then like do it in reverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then of course you burn the roof of your mouth, you burn your tongue. Yeah. Um. But so the trend involves hot pockets, right? Which so far you're on board. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I love hot pockets. Um. You know. Uh. Apparently. There is a new thing going online where people have been doing something called an Alabama Hot Pocket. Now, is that, when, to, is that when you like eat a Hot Pocket on either end with like your sister and then like eventually kiss? 
That would, uh, you know what? That would make more sense than what I'm about to tell you. That was my guess for Alabama. Because down in Alabama, you were always talking about how they, they, they're cousin fuckers down there. Are you trying to set me up, but I'm willing to be set up for that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, that's just something I have said, yes. It is, it is a, a, a thing about Alabama and the people of Alabama. They like to fuck their friends. Incest, apparently, is a thing that they do. I'll tell you this. I know zero people in Alabama that do that. I know people in New York that do. Um, I know someone who said that they did. That someone in their family is married to someone. Yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. which, hey, man, love is love. But when it's Well, you know, just don't have kids. Family member. Don't have kids. Love is a little bit more. Yeah. Um. Too so, much. yeah, so each generation uh, has go through their phase where they're obsessed with grossing their friends out. But this generation right now has been uh, grossed out with something called the Alabama Hot Pocket. Okay. Now, Joey, uh, if I were to give you another another guess of what an Alabama Hot Pocket is, what would you guess? Something with animals. Why? I, I, I immediately went to, like, Does the word Alabama farm? make you think of llamas? It makes me... Llamas? I meant... I, I was thinking more, like, pigs... Like they like uh, because of how you talk. Uh, oh my how god! You talk do they like the people from Alabama that do, they're they're pigs? No. <laughs> do they like fuck pigs? Like two guys fucking a pig? I don't think guys are doing. I feel like many, I should stop guessing. Yeah, you're kind of. <laughs> uh, no. Um, so an Alabama hot pocket. Yeah. Is a sexual act where a man takes a boom. A shit. Yes. Inside a woman's, you know what, and then does you know what with the you know what that's filled with you know what. I don't know any what. <laughs> I don't know any of these what. So an Alabama hot pocket. He shits in a in her ass. That's not the you know what, Joe. Pussy. How it's, do you shit in a? Okay, he shits in her. I mean, listen, man. The, hold you know, on. Let's go one you know what by what. Okay, start with the first. So Shits in a pussy. A man takes a poop inside a woman's, woman's you know what. In her bag, yes. In her, in her front bag. In her front. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And then does you know what? In her glove compartment. Got it. <laughs> and then, so you got this, you know, candy bowl filled with M&Ms. Jesus. And then <laughs> he... Has sex with it. Sexes it up. With poop. With the vagina filled with you know qual. Yeah, okay. Now I know what. <laughs> and then there was two more you know what. No, it was he puts his you know what and does you know what inside of her you know what, which is filled with, you know, what? What? Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so what happens is. Yeah. A guy. So you're crouched. A guy takes a crap <laughs> in a woman's. Lady bag, yeah, and then has coitus with both, yeah. As at is as it is filled, and this is a TikTok trend, you said. Apparently, it's a trend of showing people it. So you know what we have to do, right? I'm not looking at it. You have to Google it. All right. You. <laughs> I found that it's a thing. You have to look at what it is. Well, this is what you guys are seeing right now. I typed in Alabama hot pocket into Urban Dictionary. It says a hot pocket from the state of Alabama. Nothing more. Damn, this pepperoni Alabama hot pocket is good. <laughs> I think we know that. Oh no, nope, uh -oh. never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. There it is. We don't recommend doing this to anybody, obviously, but. If anyone's eyes will be, you know, christened with the view of the Alabama Hot Pocket, it'll be Joey. It, um... I'll tell you this right now. Don't don't describe what you're seeing. Don't use any euphemisms. I'll, I'll show you this. Nope. I don't want to... It's not, not, it's not real. It's a, it's a cartoon. And it's not... It's just funny. <laughs> but this is exactly... You're fucking with me. No, no, no. I'm serious. If you swear on my I'm children... I'm going to show the fucking... I swear on my children. I swear, I swear on your children. No swearing. I... Swear on your children. And, you're fine. And Charlie. I swear on Charlie. <laughs> and you're... <laughs> I know you, you care yeah. about Charlie a lot. Yeah. He's your child. Swear on your nephews. 
Frankie, uh, you're fine. And your dude. niece. Okay, it's enough. Um, you didn't swear. This is how I pictured it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Poop in her to show dominance. Yeah. That wouldn't show dominance. I mean, it's it's not, not dominance. That's a pretty non-dominant situation. If I'm doing there. that to a person... I'm never seeing them again. And I'm also never looking at my reflection. I was again. gonna say, you're also walking away and going right off of the bridge. Yeah, I'm not I'm not looking at my my reflection ever again. That's really fucking insane. I listen, I mean, for obvious reasons, this is ins how, have people not died this way yet? Dude, we're talking about does these is. The fucking doctor said not to put juice behind your ears. You're getting shit in, lady. This is a disrespect. This feels like a Dubai type of thing. What does that mean? There's a there was a lot of stories that came out about like the princes in Dubai like gotcha. asking to I like get you were shit going, on. I thought you were being racist again. No no no. This is this is just factual stuff. <laughs> Not this time. All the defecating <laughs> was coming. At, <laughs> all the That's right. No, we spoke about it on an episode. What's that called? Crap. No corner. Some corner cart. Somewhere to see. What are you trying to say? It's like it's something ophelia. It's like carno cornucopia. Crapophilia. Crapophilia. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Yeah. This is like I can't even begin to express. Every time we do this episode, there's not every time. Often when we do this episode, mm -hmm. we come up with things that I put on my list of I would do anything else before I do that. Sure. This is this is the probably the top of that list. I would say so. I think crapping into a vagina would really like make me go crazy and honestly if i was feeling like traumatized or whatever then i could go to better help and better help is one of our sponsors for today's show and like <laughs> if <laughs> better help is online counseling okay you can talk to a therapist they're going to talk you through whatever's going on in your life hopefully not what i just described um but uh they can help you uh and uh it's online therapy and it is affordable, way more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can also get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement. That is betterhelp.com slash basement for 10% off your first month. Like I said, uh, in previous episodes, I've been in therapy for a very long time and I really love it. And I think that everyone should try it. BetterHelp is a great place to start doing that. Um, so yeah, go to betterhelp.com slash basement, get 10% off your first month. Um, Next here, we have Shopify. Shopify uh, gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses um, right at your fingertips. So if you're a startup or you're thinking about starting a brand or whatever, you can explore Shopify and see that it is the best way to start your business. If you want to have an e-commerce store, um, you know, it's great. And they also have a giant suite of features that will help you retarget uh, customers, uh, you know, get more people to your website, sell more things. Uh, so Shopify is the one to, to, to use if you're going to be doing that. Um, it powers millions of businesses, um, giant businesses that I know of personally, and uh, you know smaller businesses as well. So it's good for everybody. Uh, so go to Shopify.com slash basement, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial and get access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to Shopify.com slash basement right now. Again, that is Shopify.com slash basement and lastly here we have stitch fix stitch fix is like having your own personal stylist uh, right at your fingertips all right so you go on their site you fill out a style quiz to let them know what your sizes are what kind of fit you like uh, with your shirts or pants and like what kind of patterns you like and then based upon your style quiz they will pull items for you I believe it's five uh, and send them to you and you only pay for what you keep and whatever you don't like, you ship back, free returns, free shipping, uh, and you don't pay for those. So you only pay for what you keep. So it's like having someone in your corner that knows what you like and will send you stuff, uh, you know, on a monthly basis if you want. And, uh, yeah, you just keep your wardrobe pretty fresh, which is nice. Um, so yeah, and it's also seasonal. So it's like during the winter, you're going to get some winter stuff or whatever you want. Like, it's nice. So go try them out. Uh, you could sign up at stitchfix.com slash basement, and you will get $20 off your first purchase. Uh, that is stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off your first purchase. Uh, limited time offer. Purchase within two days of sign up. All right, folks? And also, make sure you go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. We tell you guys about Patreon all the time, but... 
realistically, it's the best way to support us. In addition to watching the show and telling your friends about it, go watch out the Patreon videos. Because guess what? You sign up for Patreon that first tier, you get these videos. Well, no, excuse me, the weekly. That's what we're watching right now. These weekly videos uh, a week early, <clears throat> a week before everybody else. You get to watch them before everybody else does. Get in on the conversations beforehand. See Joey talk about how he is going to you know, recreate the Alabama Hot Pocket uh, a, a week before anybody else. No, he's not. Uh, but then also there's that next tier where you sign up for that. Well, guess what? We are giving you more content, baby. <laughs> 7 a.m. every single Friday. You get exclusive videos that nobody else gets the opportunity to see. They're a little more crazy, a little more... You know, how you doing? There's no ads on them. Uh, you know, they're, they're just out of control. So go check them out. Patreon.com slash the Yard. If we get to 12,000, we have put up a poll as to what exactly we are going to be doing. And we're waiting on what the results of that poll are. And uh, I think I want to do the full drag. That would be fun. I would really like to do that. I would so, like to do drag. I, I know. I would too, honestly. I feel like it would awaken something in me. <laughs> Uh, but make sure you go check it out. We appreciate the love and support for all of our friends that already are patrons. And if you're not able to do it for a little bit, we understand. But we'd love to see you there eventually. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Wow. And get this hot sauce. Get it. Yeah, go get the What would the you do if sauce. I swallow this whole bottle right now? Probably be jealous. Probably would taste delicious. But it would burn your fucking bum, probably. You can't, can't have a burnt bum if it's, I want always, some of that. If it's always burnt. Jeez. <laughs> 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 I think we sold out, but we're waiting for another shipment of this. Oh, man. I ordered five bottles. Already threw one. I have 12. Well, now I have 10 because I finished two I gave bottles. one away to my in-laws, and I'm giving two more away. So I, what's the math? This shit is so good. It really is. I put it on. I made some breakfast tacos the other day. Ooh, what was in them? Well, it was actually, technically, it was a breakfast crunch wrap supreme, and I didn't make it. Becca did. So let's start that whole sentence over. Okay. Did you Becca, say anything correct? <laughs> Becca made a breakfast crunch wrap supreme. Was there eggs in it? Duh. Yeah. And I, every single bite, I put that son of a bitch on it. Dude, that's how I eat that. Yeah, I don't, I don't do like, oh, a little bit, beep, beep. No. I do like, bite more, yeah, bite more. exactly. Because it's the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, go check out uh, Secret Handshake Foods. Everything based on Insta sauce. Instagram. The on first. Instagram. I'm sure there will be, you know, once you're the first, people want to. There's imitators, probably. They want to, they uh, what is it? Jocking jock your style. Jocking the style, yeah. They want to be. Sweating your. Sweating your style. Yeah. They want to be, what's it called? Like, you're jock, jocking. They're going to be jocking you. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like what like Mike Jones used to say back in the day. He used to say a lot of stuff. Back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They're all, all yeah, on Yeah, 281 Hit Mike Jones up on the low because Mike Jones is about to blow. Yeah. I, I used to call that number. Is, is it still a thing? I don't know if it's still. You want to call it? 281 Yeah. Hit Mike Jones up on the low. Because Mike Jones is about to blow. 281 Well. On speaker. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. So either the number doesn't exist or they finally shut my service off. Right. Yeah. And then there was um, Soldier Boys kiss me through the phone. Six seven eight triple nine eight two one two. Six seven eight triple nine eight two one two. Let's see. Ask if it's Soldier. Oh, someone answers. Can you imagine it's Soldier Boy? Perfect. Just hung up. Damn. What about um, eight six seven five three zero nine nine? I don't think that was a real <laughs> number. <laughs> but that was Tommy. Was times. there a time when we were younger where you didn't have to use an area code? Yeah. I you don't, don't remember, remember that? I, I, like I do and I don't. Like I know that it like happened, but I don't really like because I I didn't have a phone then, obviously. But I feel like that became a thing. Like oh, yeah. you gotta you gotta put seven one eight. It didn't come. It didn't come until we were like eight or nine years old. I would say. That's crazy. I used to be able to call you, and I would just dial. I'm not gonna do it. You thought uh, I was gonna slip up. Or I can call your cell phone and dial. Yeah. <laughs> oh. what, what I used to do is, um, when I uh, used to like fuck with people and get fake numbers, I would give our friend David's phone number because Good. it's been the same the whole time. Really? Yeah. So well, my phone number. I've never changed my phone number. I don't think. Uh, I have. I have my phone number originally was something different. It's now, I believe now it's like an Indian guy. Uh, but my brother inherited it. And he had it. My brother Chris had it for years. 
Oh. And he said, up until he got rid of it, like a year ago, he would get calls and text messages like, yo, Frankie, long time no talk. Really? Yeah. Jesus. And then uh, I was, I want to say in high school, I finally got it switched, and it, it is my number now, and it's been the same since. Wow. But, like, do you remember when you had to, like, you would get a new phone, you get a new number? Yeah. But, I, well, I don't know. I, I know I inherited my sister's phone number when I was, when I, like, first got a phone mm. and then it changed at a certain point and i think it's been the same since then yeah yours but i didn't get a phone until like high school no i no, think no, like no. seventh or eighth grade you got a phone yeah well i had a i had a no in eighth grade i don't think i had a phone you had the nokia originally i believe right yeah but i was like a i was like a freshman in high school probably mm. or is that too late i think that was a little late for you joe i think you had it before because uh we, yeah, I had that red phone. Remember the flip phone? The chocolate? Chocolate. Is that what it was? No. Oh, no, I do remember the red phone. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I remember... I, I remember you had a phone and then you pissed all over it. I did. I did do that. Yeah. I did do that. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys that have never heard that story, uh, I stayed up late on the phone with a girl I was talking to at the time. As one does. As one does. And we did the cute boyfriend, girlfriend thing where we would stay on the phone the whole night yeah. when we were sleeping. I, in order to stay up later, drank a copious amount of Coca-Cola. Yeah. And uh, in the night, pissed the bed. Yeah. And my phone, which was under me. Of course. Woke up to a searing hot phone. Didn't work anymore. Was completely broken. Yeah. Uh, and my dad was not happy. Right. And then you told your dad that you and I you tried, may have came on it. I tried to convince him it was come. <laughs> I love that story because so much. In my head, it was less embarrassing that I had jizzed on a phone than I had pissed on a phone. Hindsight, do you still feel that way? Because I think that the coming all over your phone and breaking it is psychotically worse. Honestly, no. I, I think I would still... You like, would say I had a I had a soaking wet dream that broke my phone. I've never had a wet dream. Me neither. But we know someone that has had apparently like messy wet dreams. What? Like super messy wet dream. Yeah, I've never woken up and been like, "There's cum." Bro, we everywhere. know someone, and and I won't say it here. Right. We know someone who has told us that like, yo, there have been times where they've woken up just like. Like come everywhere What the hell I've never Bro I've never I've never had a wet dream I've never And I've had dreams Where I've like Been like doing Titties Doing and, like bang banging Yeah me too But like I've never been like This dream in my head That I know is not real Is so sick That I'm gonna Finish in real life That's never happened to me I guess I, That's I, the dream You ever like Dance with a girl For so long That you come or something Nope See like That's never happened to me either There was a kid That I know Which sounds Cool. I mean, maybe not. Not really. But there was a kid that I know. His name is Christian. Mm -hmm. And in middle school, we were at the dance, and he was dancing with this girl who... Looking, You know what's funny? I think it was Davino's cousin. Oh, okay. The girl. Gotcha. And uh, the kid Christian was like, yo... And the kid Christian's name was Davino. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what this kid's doing, but like... Uh, I remember him telling me he's like, "Yo, I was dancing with her," and then like, fucking came in my shit. And I was like, "Why are you bragging about hey, yeah, coming? Why is that? That's not cool." I yeah. have to imagine it was seventh grade too. I have I was to like, imagine I that like, wet dreams, if you live with your significant other, cause a little bit of a rip. wait. You don't have wet dreams that late in life, right? Wait, you can have a wet dream like now, bro. We know people. We know someone that still has them. Wait. As far as I know. The last time we spoke about this topic, we were informed that wet dreams when still happen. When do men have wet dreams? When, why do wet dreams happen? Your body goes through some rapid physical and emotional changes during puberty, which is usually begins around 9 to 15. All right, I got to click on the article now. Oh, yeah. Because I need to know what the hell's going on. Uh, to, to my understanding, this person still does. And I could be incorrect in saying You start that. producing more of the hormone testosterone, which causes your body to start creating sperm, your genitals to grow, facial and pubic hair to appear. I know what this is. <laughs> we know what puberty is. 
a nocturnal emission. That's the scientific <clears throat> sleep orgasm. That's when you Sl- ejaculate or, or without masturbation or manual stimulation while you're asleep. That sounds kind of dope. But like you have to imagine if this is happening later in life when someone lives with a partner, like this creates this could create a little riff, right? Ooh, Bro, can, like, can if, adults get wet dreams? Wet dreams aren't experienced by aren't just experienced by teenage boys. You may experience wet dream as an adult, especially if you are not masturbating or having sex. However, wet dreams don't mean you're not having enough sex or you're unhappy with your sexual partner. So, yeah, but like imagine like you wake up and like you're like, "Oh, sh-. <laughs> like how do you you have oh, to wake stuff. up and go like, "Ugh." Oh no, stuff. And then like this, like, "Yo, who are you fucking in your dream?" Bro? Yeah, man, I mean, maybe. Be- better be me. Well, not me. I'm saying, like, my partner would, like, not Becca wouldn't say that, but, like, I imagine there are relationships where people are like, who are you fucking in your dream? If it's not me, that's fucked up. Yeah. You know? The frequency of wet dreams varies from person to person. Some people may only experience a few in their lifetime. Some have wet dreams regularly, and some will never have one. It's all normal. I'm texting this person to see uh, if, if they uh, still have them. Dude, I can't imagine. That would be so bad. Imagine waking up and there's fucking like stuff everywhere. You'd be like, no. Sometimes I wear really cool shorts to bed or like really comfortable shorts. And I was like, I would never come in these. Yeah. I would be like, I'd be like, yo. And it's a mess, bro. Like, it's not like a cool, like. I would also just feel like out of control of my penis. I'd be like, yo, you're doing this when I'm not around. Like, you're just. Yeah, you'd be betrayed. It's like, yeah. It's it's getting too, like, it's, it's becoming like too, like. Artificial intelligence. You yeah, know what like I, mean? I, th- I thought we were a team, yeah. and you're doing this on your own now. Like, like yo, like you, you're trying wait, to push me you out. Wait for me. Yeah, like you're trying to push me out. Like I thought that we were That's working what they're trying together. To do, honestly, they're trying to, ex- ex- you know, show dominance. They're not gonna poop in you. Well, I hope not. They're gonna show dominance by being like, yo, my, this is me. I'm go. I'm go to go whenever I want. I don't know why they're Southern. I don't know. Yeah, what the hell did I you I said use? Alabama Hot Pocket earlier, and my mind is still down there. I feel like I didn't do a lot of things as a kid, like wet dreams and like other yeah. stuff. No, I didn't do wet dreams. Didn't really piss the bed that much. I, I pissed the bed. I mean, kids piss the bed, but like not to the point where— Yeah, children, yes. Yeah. I, I thought I pooped the bed once. I told that story. Where well, I, I thought I a, shit my pants that one time. I slept on a mashed banana. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of mashed food, that's why I thought I shit my pants. There was a time we went to Miami, and I was very drunk, and I passed out in my bed. And then Josh, you know, great friend Josh of ours. Uh, <laughs> you he, put poop in your pants? No. He, he made a grilled cheese sandwich and, and burned it, so he just shoved it in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> Yeah, dude, Josh. If I did, I forgot it. Josh shoved a grilled cheese sandwich in my underwear. That is fucking hysterical. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I was asleep, and he sh- jammed a was this whole the, sandwich. Was this the trip I was at? No, it was the uh, it was the, the next the, one. The, the rebound. Yeah. And he just shoved a whole fucking sandwich, up, and I woke up and I was like, "What is this? What am I feeling in my pants right now?" I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> and then. Uh, I I went to the bathroom because I was like concerned. I was like, did I like shit myself? I was like, like I was what's going on? Brown. And then I just saw a whole sandwich, and I knew it was him immediately. And I woke him up. I was like, why is there a grilled cheese in my pants? What? <laughs> they respond. I I said, yo, super random but hilarious question. You still have wet dreams? <laughs> and they responded, not that often, but I'll wake up with cum shorts every once in a blue. That would. <laughs> Wait, I feel like I know who it is. I feel like I know who it is. Do you want me to show you? I'm not going to say it. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's not who I thought it was at all. Really? No. Who did you think it was? <laughs> I don't want to say it. Well, so give me a hint. Give me something that they, an inside joke they wouldn't understand. Uh, the only word that comes to mind is Adderall. Uh, unfortunately, that's a number of people yeah. <laughs> that we know. Well, so you're going to have to narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know how. But um, that's funny. Yeah. That's well, crazy. So something else uh, that is uh, funny. Not really. I don't know how. This is a bad transition. What? But apparently uh, there has been a skyrocket of designer vagina surgeries. Like does, like Gucci? Like you go to the store and you're like, yo, let me get new 
lips. Let me get some Botox. Oh, you I want a face uh, yeah. I, Dude, I th- I, when I'm thinking of designer, I'm thinking of like like an LV, well, like a uh, Louis Vuitton. I know that's where your brain goes, Joey. I, I think it's only a matter of time until like you have like, you know, these brands being like, like, hello, this is, Yve- you know, YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. We have the beautiful designer Vajan there. Pajama. And we would like to offer to you for a slow rate of twenty thousand dollars per lip. Thousand per lip. I would assume because that's what. So the 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 designer. How many v- lips vaginas have? Two. I think two, but 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 we don't know. You never know. You never know. It's like it's you know. They start finding new ones every year. Bingo! It's like the ocean. Like the more we explore, the more it's like the oh, more shit, you find. That's there. There's more species. You know? Yeah. Like you know, I feel like we know more about the ocean floor than we do about a vagina. Yeah, I'm on that team. <laughs> For well, sure. Maybe us personally, definitely us personally. Well, yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. But as a society, as a society, I think that's a safe bet to make as well. And we live in a society. But yeah, I, actually, I just sent you uh, a. Yeah, I got the, It says designer vagina surgery doubles in 2022 for one surgeon, thanks to tight leggings. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He says, "This is the the wet dream." This is the cum shorts. Okay. It says, uh, "They say not that often, but I'll wake up with cum shorts every once in a blue." And I said, "What do you do when that happens?" And they said, I "Blame it on toothpaste." I say, "I got toothpaste on my shorts, so no one thinks I'm 16 having wet dreams." <laughs> <laughs> toothpaste. That's genius. Well, now I'm going to know about the toothpaste. Well, now you'll know. So if you ever see yeah, an associate, you'll be like, oh, I just got, got toothpaste all over my shorts. It's like, I bet you do. I'd I bet be you like, do yeah? There's toothpaste? Brush your teeth with it. Lick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but back to the designer vaginas. Yeah, designer vagina. Design vagina. Vagina vagina. Design vagina. Design nuts. Um, apparently, thanks to tight leggings... Uh, labiaplasty, the procedure shrinks the labia minora, otherwise known as the flaps... Come on. The flaps. You just went and used the scientific term for labia. Now you're going with flaps, dude? With a price tag more than $4,000. I thought it would be more. Well, you know, the, the better the surgeon, I presume it would be more expensive. You know, and they'll give you like cute little things with it too. They'll be like, oh, we'll throw in like a diamond, you know, like a little stud, you know, at the top. I would, I would do that. Yeah. Like who is the rapper? Um... Uh, that got the diamond in their oh, head. Oh, little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert, and they'd be like, "Yo, like while you're just kind of you know working on the hedges, do you mind just throwing a diamond in?" Just throwing a diamond. In there? Yeah, it says women are flocking to purchase a designer vagina after ultra tight leggings have become uncomfortable or embarrassing thanks to the dreaded camel toe. So the leggings are too tight, and it's causing the vaginas to be. Pushed up against the pan. Do I respond with like liberal Frank and discuss like why this is bad for you know like young women growing up and having to come to the realization that their vagina might not match beauty standards, or do I go with the funny route? Well, considering the fact that it is a comedy show. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I won't. I won't bring up you know the effect that this will have on women growing up. Uh, but uh, you gotta love your vaginas, ladies. Yeah, dude. Because we love them. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We're, you got two fans right here. Two big vagina fans. You know, we're not going to, like... Also, be honest. Be honest. I have always am. Yeah. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm always know. fucking on his bitch. <laughs> Camel toes. Whatever. At this point, it's just like, they're there. Sometimes I'm like... That's kind of cool. Really? Sometimes I'm like, I can kind of see your vagina. Well, you you probably get turned on by like the idea that like, yo, it's, you're basically not wearing any pants. Well, that's you, not me. I'm just like, whatever. Wait. I'm saying, yeah. Why? Why is? But you're making it seem like that's weird. A little bit. Why is that weird? It's a little like voyeuristic. It's like you're looking at someone. Bro, and it's I'm like, not fucking looking through her window. 
You're you're basically you know smelling the wallpaper at that point. In no, time. dude, that thing's looking at me. I'm not looking at it. Oh, Joey, don't Bro, do this. If I'm scanning the Earth, I'm looking around. I'm observant. If I if happen you're to observing catch a camel the earth toe, and you fucking lock eyes with I'm a camel not, toe, I'm not locking eyes with a camel toe. I'm just saying sometimes you catch a camel toe and you're yeah, vision. you catch a camel toe, but that's when you're like, oh, I'm sorry, and then you walk, you you look away. That doesn't mean that you didn't you should, see it respectfully. You but say I, like, good day, I can, and then you look away. I know, but I have a photographic memory, dude. I, I just can't like, it's hard to. <laughs> what would you do if you tipped your cap to every hmm. <laughs> to every camel toe? <laughs> uh, so, you don't yeah. see a whole lot of camel toes these days, though. Um, you don't, you just hear about them. It's like, yeah, it's like you're Bigfoot, right. you know what I mean? I feel like that we are we are as a society like really trying to avoid camel toe. You know when it became an issue when we started calling men's things moose knuckles. Then men were like this is outrageous. It affects us now no more. Oh, like a like a balls and stuff. Well, that's what they call it for men. For for women it's a camel toe. For men they call it a moose knuckle. Yeah. Um because I think that has more girth to it than a camel toe. I don't know, man. I think a camel toe and a moose knuckle are both pretty, like... I, I gotta say, whoever coined the term camel toe, if they didn't monetize that, they have severely missed out on... Also, great call. Really good at... You know, like, we all, like, try to be at the forefront of, like, you know, good analogies. Right. I often talk about the toads and frogs, much to Joey's chagrin. Yeah, yeah. However, whoever looked at it and went, it looks like a camel toe. That spread like wildfire, baby. Yeah. Also, someone has to be familiar with camels, which I am not. Not familiar with camels. I would like to be. Of, of the parts of the camels I'm familiar with, their toes, the, at the bottom. Yeah, I, I know more about their humps. Bingo. And their tongues. Yeah. And their dumb, stupid fucking faces. No, they're cute. What? Yeah, I like a cute little camel. They look like idiots. Well, they what do you are. want them to look like? Geniuses? Yeah. If oh, they're look at ugly, that animal. Looks if so they're smart. ugly, I hate them. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like I like like doofy looking animals. Really? I don't want to see a, a, an animal go. Mm, that, that animal looks like a genius. What the fuck? Yeah, I want something that like I look at and be like, that's a that's a poster animal right there. Like I don't want to look at something and just be like, oh, it, it's it should oh. die. You know, you look at like Charlie and you're like, oh, he looks kind of looks like an idiot. Charlie, he does look like an idiot, but I don't want him to die just because he's your dog. Yeah, if thanks. he wasn't your dog, that's crazy. <laughs> no, but like you're gonna tell me you don't look at camels and you're just like, all right. What does that mean? Like something that's cuter. Would you ride a camel? G- fuck yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'd ride a camel, but. There, I think I'm gonna ride a camel next year. Where are you going? Morocco. Morocco. I don't know. Do they have camels there? Greece. I remember you told me months ago, like, yeah, Greece is probably my last big trip. Fuck. I did not say that. Yes, you did. Of the year, maybe. Uh, maybe I mistook it. Maybe. That's yeah. It. Like, why would I never? Go I thought it? I thought you took it as like forever. No, no, no. <laughs> Big big mistake on my part. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll take, I need a camels. I'll take the loss. I on need that a one. camels. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, yeah. Let's so, go to Morocco and get camels. But I would love to because I've said this. My love of tea actually established with Moroccan oh. mint tea, which we had for. There's a restaurant in the city that I've been to. Yeah. And in the middle of dinner, they bring you to another part of the restaurant and they have a guy make you Moroccan tea, like with the sand or whatever. Okay. And it's fucking good. Bro, Moroccan mint tea is the first tea I ever had. And I fell in love with tea after that. Had it where? At. A kid that we knew growing up, dad's restaurant, Jour et Nuit. Ah, oh, that was the first time you had tea? That I can remember. Yeah. I'm sure I had before then, but like I remember having this. Been like, You've been obsessed with tea since then? Yeah. Wow. No, I don't drink coffee. Never have. Wow. But, uh, yeah, so I would, I, I think, you know, for maybe for like 20,000 patrons, you should get this designer vagina. You want me to Or designer a- balls, dude. You can get a designer. If it's $4,000, you can get a designer ball surgery. It's also an invasive surge. I mean, they just work on the outside. They just kind of like pin it back a little bit, you know, like you sand the sides. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You're cool with your balls. Yeah, I, I think my balls are like kind of... You can see them. Definitely see my balls. I know I have. I'm, I want to see them now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the time, Frank. Not the time or place. Well, I mean, it's only a matter of time before, uh, you know, 
we start getting designer ball surgeries. I mean, I'm not. I'm open to it at some point. You Maybe when I'm like, sixty, you can get like the Louis Vuitton pattern. You know that like checkered pattern I'm on okay. like the outside. I don't think I'm gonna get that. You don't think so? No. I want a bape pussy. <laughs> a bape pussy. I want mine ice to, creams. I want mine to have the ice creams logo and then Got like it. the you know I get it from the bape store. Yeah. And uh, I think that'd look pretty dope. I mean, crazy. This is a big vagina episode. We salute to a real one. We do. We do. Yes. But yeah, we can kind of wrap up there. Frank, where can they find you, buddy? Just like this. For okay. A couple days. <laughs> Uh, F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on uh, Instagram, and then uh, go check out the Patreon as I said before, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We love and appreciate all the support. Sign up for that first tier, get these weekly a week in advance. Sign up for that second tier, get exclusive episodes every Friday. We're creeping toward twelve thousand. Guess what? If we get there, we're going to be doing. Uh, we know what our next goal is. We just need you to vote on it. So go check out the Patreon. The voting is there. If it's not, it's already happened, and we already know. But you know, we record these things in advance, so <laughs> whatever. Patreon.com slash the basement yarn. Yep. And uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at The Basement Yard. And that is all. See you guys next time.